Alex Laughlin returning to the place where he made his top fuel debut. Driving Scott Palmer's machine in the 723 Enterprises. Rob Passy. The Salt Lake City based team over here on the right side. A little high five from the crew as they're doing the burnout over there for Rob Passy. The, you know, having a nitro car and running a nitro car are two totally different experiences. And great to see them get so fired up just to be back out here on Thunder Mountain. And then there's Laughlin, former this racer, that racer, grudge racer, small tire racer, pro stock racer, U.S. Nationals winner, now top fuel racer. I wouldn't call him former any of those things. He's liable to get back in one of those at a moment's notice. Yeah, certainly. His top fuel career started well, because he couldn't find a pro mod to drive. He had sponsors up here in Denver that wanted to see him come up and be a part of the mile highs a couple of years ago, and they told him, well, find something. Scott Palmer called and said, you want a license in my top fuel car? And a partnership was born. The Haviland Power Built Tools car over on the left side. And Rob Passy. 723 Enterprises, Assault Depot. Working with veteran tuner Johnny West on the right side of the racetrack. Way up on the center line down there is Rob Passy, 392 for Alex Laughlin. That'll cut a couple of fist bumps going down there from the guys in Haviland shirts, 3.923. 284 miles an hour, 453 at 263 for Rob, who's trying to fight that thing off the center line the whole time. Let's hear from Jason Galvin. And I'm down here with Scott Palmer, bringing back Alex Laughlin. We got two of the fan favorites with Alex back and you back now with the team. And that's a good run out of the box we got. Yeah, that's a real good run. We had him shut it off pretty early there, but you know, probably two or three hundred feet. Me and Bobby Lagana were talking about it, and we figured that's a safe thing to do. But first run last year was his very first run, and we kind of messed him up. We had the clutch mat messed up on it, but. Uh, we fixed all that. We had to redeem ourselves on, on Q1. Great to have all of them back.